So let's say you're going to go and walk. It takes you 5.5 minutes to go 600 meters one way. Then it takes you 6.5 minutes to go 600 meters back. We want to find the average velocity of each part of the trip, and we want to find the average velocity of the total trip. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to convert those times from minutes to seconds. We're going to do this by times in each of them by 60. So the 5.5 minutes equals 330 seconds, and the 6.5 minutes equals 390 seconds. So now for the first part of the walk, we're going to take uh, 600 meters over 330 seconds, and this equals 1.82 meters per second. Then for the second part of the walk, we're going to take the negative 600 meters as we're traveling backwards over the 390 seconds, and this equals 1.54 meters a second. So now to get the total average velocity, we take the 600 meters minus the 600 meters over uh, 330 seconds plus 390 seconds, and this equals 0 meters per second. So now let's say we want to find out how far away from the starting point we are after 400 seconds. So 400 is greater than 330, so that means we've already gone 600 meters and we're on our way back. So 600 meters minus 1.54 meters a second times 400 minus 330 will give us our answer. The answer is that we're 491.8 meters away from the starting point. If you want to see more physics problems worked out, check out my playlist, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.